In a recent video called Drip Irrigation Systems for Veggie Beds, I showed you how to put together an easy yet versatile drip irrigation system for raised beds. Here is the promised video to accompany that one that will show you how to properly install your drip tubing to your water source, whether it be automated or not. Hi, Tom Lanier here with Sprinkler Pros in beautiful San Luis Obispo, California. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your drip irrigation system to one of two different types of sprinkler valves and show how you can connect the system straight to an outdoor faucet with or without a timer if you prefer. Firstly, I'm going to use industry lingo throughout this video, so to learn what the main components of a drip system are called, be sure to watch a previous video called Anatomy 101 of a Sprinkler System, the Drip System, and download the free associated PDF called Drip System Components to refer to while you watch this video. Then come right back here to pick up where you left off. To be notified when these videos are uploaded, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Now then, let's get started. The main drip tubing, which we commonly call half inch. To connect this tubing to your water source, you'll want to use this method, which is a hose thread swivel adapter. Avoid using this glued in fitting. When it comes time to replace the half inch drip tubing for whatever reason, there's no way to reconnect it to the PVC pipe without having to cut the pipe, usually underground, and start over. This way, with the swivel adapter, you simply unscrew the adapter, replace the tubing, and a new swivel adapter, and screw the new one back on. No cutting or gluing of pipe. Next, we'll look at the professional way to install it with sprinkler valves. The first most common way here in the moderate climates of the, of the West <laughs> is the anti-siphon valve. It's installed at least six inches above grade. I'll go into more detail about proper sprinkler valve installations in an upcoming video. The next consideration is whether the area to water is near or far away from the sprinkler valve. In other words, are you needing to go under a driveway or other large area? Is the area to water more than 20 or feet, 30 feet away? If so, consider installing PVC pipe to the outlet side of the valve and run it underground to your destination and install the pressure regulator and filter assembly there so you don't lose too much water pressure along the way. If you do this, use one of these devices commonly called retros. I will explain why they're called that in a video dedicated to retros. These retros have a pressure regulator and filter built in. This retro, made by DIG, and can be purchased also at Ewing Irrigation, already has hose thread for the connecting points, so you can use the swivel adapters on them. If you only need one side, then use this hose thread cap on the side you don't need. When using these, use a couple of these black elbows under them, commonly called Marlex, due to the material they're made of. Two or three of them together make like a U-joint that will allow it to adjust to any grade and to be flexible in case of being hit. If you're going to connect the tubing straight to the sprinkler valve, then install the pressure regulator uh, Y-filter assembly into the outlet side of the sprinkler valve like this with these two fittings below them with the tubing inserted into the swivel adapter. If, you're, if your preference is to install the tubing to a sprinkler valve that is below grade in a valve box like this, you'll need to have a backflow device similar to this before the sprinkler valves. The backflow device also acts as the shutoff valve for your sprinkler system. More on shutoff valves in my video called 
Anatomy 101 of a sprinkler system, the sprinkler system shutoff valve. These below grade sprinkler valves are commonly called inline valves. They can look like either of these, but from above, they all look like these. Very important though, be sure you install the valve box with enough space to spin the Y filter assembly apart to clean the filter cartridge periodically. Most of the time, I see them look like this. Always install everything with the understanding that everything eventually will need to be repaired or replaced. It's inevitable. Things wear out. There is another way to attach your drip tubing to a water source, and that is on what is commonly called a faucet. This is called a hose bib. This is called a garden valve. If you are on clean municipal water and have no fear of debris clogging your drip emitters, then you can simply connect your tubing to a swivel adapter and screw it directly to the hose bib or garden valve. Otherwise, you'll want to use an inline filter like this. If you want to connect two drip lines going two different directions with two different purposes, or you want to connect a garden hose to the same hose bib or garden valve, then you can install a hose Y. These are available in brass, pot metal, or plastic. You can't always get these at irrigation suppliers, but they are available at home centers. One last option to present. A timer can be installed on the hose bib or garden valve to automate the process. This Hunter BTT series is the best in the industry and is Bluetooth enabled. You can program it using your smartphone and is available in a one connection or two connection model. There are also models available by other manufacturers that work with or without programming capabilities without the need for a smartphone. There is one last method that is rarely used, but it can be done. It's by using this small three quarter inch inline valve made by Eritrol that can be wired to a sprinkler timer. I hope this was helpful. If so, I'd love to hear about your success in the comments below. If you'd like this free download that shows the photos and names of the main components of your drip system, just click on the link below. Remember to like it, share it and subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to stay up to date with all these helpful videos and downloads. See you next time.